Hello everyone, this is Lizzie and I'm here with Raquel and we are here to give you Bridgerton impressions. This is our last video, so today we're talking Penelope, uh, a fan favorite, uh, someone I have always really, really loved. I think she's the most really relatable character um, on the books as she's sort of like the one that makes you feel like you understand her. Um, and I think Raquel really loved her. Um, in the show and as always what we're doing is I'm giving you the impressions of someone who has read the books and Raquel is giving you the impressions of someone who has not. Uh, so that means that if we both came out of watching season one loving Penelope that's a really good sign. Um, so without further ado Raquel's gonna talk Penelope in season one of Bridget. Raquel. <laughs> Penelope, she's my second baby. I know, I know, I see. No, 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 she has too many babies. This is a problem we need to talk to her about. I can choose because I love all of them. <laughs> but Penelope is my second baby. First, um, first time on it, Penelope is my second baby. <laughs> She's really, really cute and fun and strong and brave. Uh, She's more brave and more strong than that what she thinks at first because uh, she, she has to be strong, right? Because everybody around her uh, love her uh, like a friend or despite her for all the reasons that I, um, I, will don't, I won't say. But she has to be more strong than, he, my, than her sisters, I think that. Um, uh, I, I really surprised me that in that inside uh, that strong inside that her that has Penelope uh, because I don't expect that I I, I expect more uh, character more like don't her don't have um, much screen time and of uh, don't have much history but uh, she has she has uh, history she has very strong time he. Her history is really, really uh, wonderful, and you will love it. And um, well, um, I especially love about Penelope her friendship with Eloise, <clears throat> and you will see them together, and you will see a uh, totally friendship. You will see the fun of a friendship, the best moment, but you will see uh, the worst moment too. You know, our friendship is not like everybody's happy, and that's. Oh, uh, uh, it has its down, up, ups and down, and you will see everything in that friendship with Eloise, and you will love them even the worst moment because you you can put in in Eloise's or Penelope's shoes. You will understand. You will understand uh, everybody's point, and you will you will love. Uh, that that aspect of Penelope or Analois friendship, and um, uh, you know this is the best friendship of the season, and uh, this is my favorite friendship of the season. And well, uh, you will Penelope. Okay, I want to say a lot more of Penelope. Well, uh, the actress is perfect for this role, and uh, you uh, she has this perfect of magic or um that type of a point like like uh we being cute and brave and uh well ah Penelope is so 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 good uh, she has this good heart and she's a very a very good person she she wants help everybody no matter what even person uh, doesn't like her or something like that or hurt her she wants help then she wants help everybody because she's, she's like he she's, she's like she's like this she's like that you know she's she's good she's she's kind and, and awesome you know <laughs> and she wants to to help everybody no matter what but uh, be a good person, have a consequence, consequences, you know, and maybe for be a good person, you may be hurt. And that's, that's bad, but that's happened. Um, well, you will suffer a little with 
Penelope in, in this aspect, but you will hurt her very, very, very tight and you will kill everybody that, hurt, that hurts her because you want to protect her to all costs and doesn't more and doesn't matter because you love her you love her and you will want to protect her to to up to our course no matter what and you'll feel every everything and you'll feel the same of me <laughs> i am sure about that because well you will see but that's my personal penalty <laughs> I love it. Um, I think, as I said at the beginning, we all really, really love Penelope. Um, and I, there are a lot of things about Penelope Raquel doesn't know. Um, but um, what I do want to say about her is that she, there's a certain magic about Penelope, a certain spark that the acting really, really comes through. And you really, really see that. And when she's wearing awful yellow, uh, there's a magic about Penelope. There's a magic about her relationship with Eloise. That there's a magic about that friendship that I think also really, really translate. And then we need it to translate because they are sort of the, the friendship that's like the building block for a lot of things that happen later. Um, that really, really translates. Um, and I'm super proud of how well they did it and how much focus they got because female friendships are really, really important. And we don't get enough of them on TV. Um, we know sort of what. Uh, Penelope's journey is and we just gotta remember this is the first season this is not yet her journey um, she she's going somewhere but it's not yet um, about learning all, all the lessons It's about the beginning about the setup um, so yes there are some scenes that are gonna set up uh, what her love life is gonna look like in the future uh, the decisions she's making about many things um, but there's not resolution in all of these respects because it's season one and it mainly focuses on Daphne and Simon, which we talked about before. Um, that doesn't mean you're not going to get enough of Penelope. You're going to get more Penelope than you probably thought you were going to get. Um, you're going to love what you get of Penelope. I certainly did and she, she was and is one of my favorites. Um, the, the acting, as I said, is on point. She gets a storyline that is probably not the storyline anyone is expecting but she gets a storyline that ties in wonderfully with something that will happen in a in a book that's not even close um that is also not what you're expecting um i know someone has expectations like you can see how it all ties together coming and you won't see it as you start um to watch the show you will only see it near the end and then you'll be like oh it's because i was um so just remember I said that. Uh, but yes, Penelope is, is many things. She, she's she got a magic. She's got a kindness. She's got a really good heart. She's got a complicated family. And th there's a lot more to Penelope than meets the eye. Um, and, and it's important for us that read the book that, to know that it, it, both things come true. The Penelope that is on the outside and the Penelope that that might not be all that you're seeing comes through, even if someone who has not read the books might not know all the things that she's keeping in. So yes, I absolutely love Penelope. I think you're absolutely gonna love her in this. You're absolutely gonna love the little hints that she gets and gonna fall in love with the actress uh, like we did. Uh, and that's our last Bridgerton video. We have talked all the Bridgerton siblings Simon and Penelope, uh, we think those are the important ones, but you, if you think we should do someone else, you let us know in the comments. And we will hopefully talk to you about the actual show because it'll be out soon and hopefully we'll be here for season two. See you <laughs> later.